Hey, it's Dr. Faith, your personal life coach. And as always, I am here to empower you to live the triumphant life. Listen, have you been frustrated lately? Doing things, trying to press against time, forcing things to happen. I want you to think about what's causing these patterns of behavior in your life where you just think you're out of time and you just have to make things happen. Sometimes we try to do things prematurely because mainly it's not even about us. What you're probably trying to do and it's not working out is because you're trying to do something to appease someone else. Sometimes we spend too much time thinking about what other people think about us. But I'm here to remind you three very important words. You are enough. Yes, you heard me just as you are. No additives, nothing taken away, nothing added to your life. God created you just as you are for his purpose. There's a mantra that I live by each and every day. My desire is to live a life that honors God. In my home life, with my family, business, career, relationships, in my finances, and any other area of my life, once I live a life that honors God, it saturates and permeates each and every other area. And I believe that those areas in my life benefit from the overflow of the relationship that I share with God. Every day I want to please God. God, what did you create me to do? I want to make sure that I'm bringing glory and honor to you. When I'm speaking, God, I want to make sure that it's a topic that you gave to me. When I am in a relationship, God, I want to make sure that I am still living a life that honors you and I'm joined together to do your perfect will. In my finances, okay, God, who can I bless? Who can I help? Because I want to make sure that I'm living a life that honors God. And when you put God primarily first and you want to honor him again, everything else benefits from that overflow of honoring God because it is the standard. He is the standard. So if anyone else is not pleased by the life that I live, the things that I do, the relationships that I have, guess what? I sleep well at night because I have a father who's pleased with me. And hey, if he's not, he'll let me know. And it's my responsibility to get it right. So if anyone else is not pleased and want me to do things extremely different I don't believe I should be doing things this way or hurry with this or slow down with this and rush like this. Nah, I go back to my father, my creator, and we have a conversation and I want to make sure that everything that I'm doing is in alignment with him. Because if it is, it's going to be excellent. It's going to be well put together and it's going to be designed with other people in mind. So I want you to spend more time living a life that honors God. Living a life that brings you joy, love, happiness, and peace. And spend less time worrying about what other people think about you. Trying to people please. And trying to make sure everybody else is happy with your life while you're living a frustrated, miserable life. That's not the way God designed for it to be. And I promise you, when you prioritize and make sure that what you're doing honors God, everything else will flow and benefit from the overflow of your relationship. So reminding you here as your personal life coach, empowering you to live triumphantly, and that means overcoming the hurdles of other people's opinions and perspectives about what you should be doing and who you are. Focus on who God called you to be because again, you are enough. God bless you until next time.